ಅವಾಕ್ಚಿಂತಾಭಿಲಪನಾ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಪಾರಮಿತಜಾಧಾಮೋಚರ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇಕೈಕಸ್ಯತಾಂವಂದೇತ್ರಿಕಾಲಜಿನಮಾತರಮೈಲೇಯಸ್ತೋಸುನೆಯಸಮಯಮಾ
is the term that we are using that has been used. Bore, bore me, do, is we are using the term that has been used. And uh, I've been repeating that the language is very vague. And I've been repeating that the language is very vague. And I've been repeating that the language is very vague. And I've been repeating that the language is very vague. And I've been repeating that the language is very vague. And I've been repeating that the l a n g u 因为这个 b o r i p r a s h n a 这个字有呃觉知，或者是了知者的这个含义。呃、uh, ，we can label, we give a sometimes a slightly better label, more romantic, more poetic label. We we call it wisdom, wisdom. 那可是有时候我们给他一个比较浪漫或者比较美妙的名。的这个标签，所以我们称为把它称为智慧。Prajna in the Tibetan word sherap rap, the also has the connotation of the sort of supreme, sort of the very high class wisdom. 那在藏文里面，呃 ，prajna 这个字叫做 sherap， 是有那种最高等级的智慧的意思。嗯、um, ，Anyway. One that has the prajna means one that have understood or realize the truth of everything. Of the truth of everything, everything. Ah, 那个，所以了解要呃具足般若的人，就是了悟了真相的人。了悟了所有人的真相。It's it's difficult to explain. I will use one example. 呃。要解释有点困难，不过仁波切用一个例子来说明。Let's say I'm performing magic here. 呃，举例来说，仁波切在台上表演魔术。You know, things coming out, rabbits, deers, whatever. 有东西跑出来，兔子跑出来，鹿跑出来，等等。And you are these kids. Kids. 那我们都是一些小孩。And you are fascinated by my magic. 那每一个人都会被人们写的这个魔术所迷惑。And when when I show snakes or tiger, you get frightened. When I show maybe rabbit, you feel very I don't know. You you like I don't know all sorts of emotion. 呃，当人们写变出这个老虎或蛇的时候，大家呃心里很害怕。可是变出兔子等等的时候，大家就很欢喜。反正各种各样的情绪都因此而出生出来。The kids don't know the truth behind what's happening here. You understand what I mean? So you don't have the prajna, so to speak. You understand? So you are so fascinated by the magic. 呃，这些孩童们呢，因为不知道。所有这些变化的这个真相，所以就是没有所谓的波蕊，那因此呢，就被所有这些现象所迷惑，所这个呃吸引。Now there's another, but not me. I'm performing this. I know this is not true, but I'm also engaged. I'm also engaging. I'm sort of also a little bit involved here, but I also know this is not really happening. 那可是人们就说他变魔术的这个人呢，呃，他知道这些事情的这个伎俩在哪里，巧妙在哪里，所以他知道这个不是真的
，可是因为他也在在变魔术，所以他也呃参与在这里面，所以他他一方面又参与，一方面又知道这不是真的。But there's another person, the third person, really important. This one is those people out there who are not my audience. Therefore, they are not affected by magic. So for them, they don't know. You know, they they think, why are people laughing or why are people screaming? What's going on? 那另外还有第三种人，这个很重要，就是在外外头的人，他们完全没有参与到这个，不是仁波切这个魔术师的观众，所以他们。完全跟这件事情没关。他们在想说，为什么有人在大笑，有人在尖叫，完全不了解，完全不受影响。Those people, they are not affected, meaning they 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 are not excited, they are not afraid, they are not bothered at all by.、Uh, You know, from the root, there's no base, basically. 那那些人呢，完全不受影响，他们完全不受这个变化的这个现象所影响，因为他们没有这个基础。Okay, remember the you, the kids. You have no prajna, so you are completely involved. Me, I have a little bit more prajna because I know what's happening. But I also know this is not true. That that guy is free from all this delusion. So ordinary people, bodhisattva level, Buddha level. You understand? So, in remember, the little kids, because they are completely blinded by this phenomenon, they have no so-called boring. 那变魔术人不现呢？他虽然知道这些伎俩，可是他因为也融入在这整个这个魔术里面，所以他有比较多的波蕊。在外面那个人呢，因为他完全跟这个事情无关，他完全免于所有免于所有这些迷惑，所以他跟这个事情无关。所以诸位这个小孩子就是一般人。变魔术就是菩萨，外面那个就是佛。My example is not the best because within this context, I'm only managing to give you analogy of two gates. You know, there's a four gates: is there gate, gate, para gate, para sam gate. I'm only managing to show you, yes, two two gates: the first gate and para sam gate. First gate is from ordinary people to magician. He knows he's gone beyond that thinking. This is not really true, but still, you know, I'm involved. By the way, okay, first is to translate this. 呃，罗杰说，在这刚刚这个例子呢，不见得是非常好，呃，不过总是一个例子。那它只是牵涉到这个《心经》里面这个“揭谛、揭谛、波罗揭谛、波罗僧揭谛”的四个揭谛里面的两个揭谛，因为“揭谛”这个意思是说超越的意思。那所以，罗杰只讲到这第一个揭谛，就是呃，这个诸位观众一般人，然后呃，跟这个。波罗僧揭谛就是在外面的那个那个完全不牵涉的人。There are magicians who get who 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 get caught by their own game, so to speak. You know, they like the timing, the music, the synchronization, and not only that. Probably they may build a very beautiful girl, magic. But it's so perfect and so beautiful. You also feel a little bit, you know, drowsy here and there. That could happen. So you have to go also from that gate. You you understand? So I'm trying to talk about the four gates, by the way. 
那人们就说，也有一些魔术师呢，因为他自己被所有自己自己变出来这些声光各种效果，而自己也有一点迷惑住了，呃，或者是变出这个一位美女出来，那因为实在是太完美了，所以自己也有一点这个心猿意马了。那呃，所以呃，是这种事情会发生的。所以人们就是在举例，想要讲这个，接接地接地，呃，这四个接地超越。Anyway, while Buddha was in the samadhi of all illuminating, Avalokiteshvara was okay meditating on emptiness. I really don't like using the word meditating, but no choice. Meditating on emptiness. So, 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 观自在菩萨也是在禅定，虽然人们却不喜欢用这个“禅定”的这个字，不过没有别的选择，反正观自在菩萨在禅定空性。And back to our analogy, our l o k a t e s h v a r a is the magician, magician level. 那那回到这个我们刚刚的例子，这个观自在菩萨就是那个魔术师，或者是说魔术师那个层次的人。Okay, so he, okay, he is in this. There's so many, you know. This is why the language is really not good. Not, you know, our l o k a t e s h v a r a is in deep samadhi of shunyata. The word "deep" somehow makes you feel like you want to close your eyes. You understand? 那这个经文上说，观自在菩萨，呃，这个进进入一个很深的这个空性的禅定里面。呃，人们就说是这个文字就是有这个问题，一一讲到这个很深，大家都想要把眼睛闭起来。所以 ，even in the depiction of the vulture's peak， you know， some Avalokiteshvara is usually painted sitting straight。那所以，在这个灵鹫山的这种壁画，或者是各种。描述的图像里面，观观自在菩萨都是禅坐的姿势。You know, that's how much symbolism is always limited. Limited. You know, that's that's all you can do. 那所所有这些象征的东西都有它的限制，这个也没办法，我们只能这样做。A modern artist could be could actually very well paint a bunch of t e s h b a r a on a big headphone and listening to a trance music and going like this. Like this. 现代的画家应该可以画那个观观自在菩萨戴着这个大耳机，然后一边在听那个有一点那个呃这个那个迷惑式的音乐，然后一边在摇动。And Shariputra sort of tapping me. Hello, excuse me, sir. What are you doing? 然后舍利子就敲敲他的耳机说：“哎，先生，你在干嘛 ？”And then. He gives the answer. Then he gave the answer. Okay. So the classically, you know, the Shariputta's question is, how do you, how do you look at things? That's a, it's a very important, a very that the choice of language is actually quite important. Now, Jing. 经典上就是呃，舍利子所问的一个问题是说，那你到底怎么看所有的事情？那这个这个问题是非常重要的。Listen to this. This is Shariputra's question. 这是舍利子的问题，请注意。Rikji bu kala la shariputra paru tu cimba sami cipa cipan dua pati cita rana perja. It wasn't a question as how do you meditate. It wasn't questions like that. How do you meditate? It was not a question of how to meditate or how to meditate. It was not a question of how to meditate or how to meditate. It was not a question of how to meditate or how to meditate. It was not a question of how to meditate or how to meditate. It was not a question of how to meditate or how to meditate. It was not a question of how to meditate or how to meditate. It was not a question of how to meditate or how to meditate. 
act according to, behave. As if you have under, you have prajna, prajna paramit, you know prajna, the supreme wisdom. How, how do you do that? That was the question. Some, you know, Sharabji Padachim, but Sami Chepa, Chepa and Dwebati, you know, like those who wish to, right? I have some of the greatest translators looking at me and I'm nervous here. So it's a good one, this is a good one. This is a如果一个人想要他的行为或者他的所有的举止you know, how do you eat? How do you dress? How, how, what tie should one choose this morning? At that level I'm talking about. You know, how do you eat? How do you sort of comb your hair? What shampoo would you use this morning? As you, with, as, a, as someone who has the prajna. So, you eat, you 洗澡的时候用什么样的洗发精？如果你是一个，或者就是假设你自己是一个已经具足波蕊的人，那你怎么做这些举止？这个是问题之所在。How many degrees should you swing your hips when you walk? This morning, particularly, for instance. 特别是今天早上，你走路的时候屁股要摇几度。才像一个具足波蕊的人 I'm, I'm serious, this is what you must ask him 这是真的, 这是人, It's not you know, like some dry boring question Okay, how should one be you know, good Buddhist? It's not like this He's really asking like very nitty gritty stuff How should I drink this juice as someone who has a prajna? 他不是在问一些非常无聊的很干燥的问题说 做一个好佛教徒应该怎么打坐，什么不是这种问题，而事实上非常细细微，而且非常真实的，我怎么喝这一杯果汁？如果我是一个具足波蕊的人。Great, it's so important. Didn't didn't I say yesterday? Prajna Paramita is really, really important for everything, sleeping, everything, whatever. 昨天陈伯谢说过了，这个波瑞波罗蜜多是非常重要，对任何事情、生活上的任何事情都非常重要。Good for dating too. 对约会也有好处。I was just going through some newspaper and there's a dating service. I was so it come up dating. 陈伯谢在翻报纸，然后看到那种呃帮忙人家约会、男女约会那种广告，所以他想到这个。You need confidence for date dating, isn't it? 你需要在约会的时候，你需要信心，对不对？ If you have a confidence, then even though you have forgotten to use Listerine this morning, you would really go close to somebody. You you will have you need confidence. 如果你有信心的话，即使你早上忘了那个用那种漱口消毒水。你还是可以很有信心的去接近那个人，接近的很近. And how do you have the confidence when you know form is emptiness, emptiness from form is neither, not different from the emptiness, emptiness is not different from empty. That's when you have confidence. 那你怎么会有信心呢？是因为你了知了色即是空，空即是色，色不异空，空不异色，这就是你有信心的时候。so this is Shariputra's question. So how do you go about it? How do you live? How do you live? How do you breathe? How do you, how do you exist as someone who has a prajna? So this is the Okay, as an answer to that, 
Changu sampa sampa cuma papa cina tu wanjung kita dalam macam sherry pun. Di kecik mana so sherry pun, rizki pun, rizki pun makan lah. Sherry tu perlu tu cuma sampai cebat cebat itu beti. Cita nampak tak betul. Di tar nampak tak betul cahaya. Pumpu ngapa kita jangan jadi tong nampak ni hantar baju tu tong zoom tong bo tong baju zoom zoom tu lecik tong baju jemai. So this is the beginning of the belajar nampak macam itu discussion. So tan, jadi kan kan macam dia cakap, jadi kan tu saya pula saya kata, ini adalah pura pura mido. 呃，教教法的开始。So immediately, okay. So the project, as an answer to that question, Avalokiteshvara choose to speak about five aggregates first. 那为了要解释这个波若波罗蜜多呢，观自在菩萨选择先从五蕴开始解释。Uh, but Dr. didn't choose to speak about mathematics, political science, or you know, philosophy. He chose to speak about five aggregates. Guan Zhi Zai Pu Sa Mei Xuan Zhe Chong Su Xue Ah Zheng Zhi Ah, or is this, uh, other things start to talk about. He starts from the five aggregates. And this is a very, very important reason for that because the five aggregates, and we will be speaking this more. Five aggregates are the Base the, where you label the notion of self, and then you begin all this clinging and self-cherishing, and the, uh, you know, all the emotion starts then. So this is why going to the root. Uh, 用五蕴开始是非常重要的，因为五蕴就是我们标这个贴上标签，贴上这个自我的标签的一个基础。那从这个基础以后呢，开始所有的这个自我的这个感觉啊，自己的自爱啊，这种所有的情绪都从这里出来，所以五蕴就是最基本的这个根。Okay, now back to again a little bit. We need to know this. Um, um, Prajna Paramitra and Madhyamika chose the word me non-existent. Cho chose to speak the non-existence more than the existence. Uh, 那现在我们要回来讲另讲一下，这个波若波罗蜜多跟中观都选择了去说。不存在说的比较多，而比说的比这个存在说的多。Okay, now this is this is going to take some time to get used to this thinking. 那需要一点时间来习惯这种想法，就是说比较说不存在，而比较不说存在。But in the Prajna Paramita, there is something so amazing, which is what we call Tongyi Jijur, which means Explaining the emptiness from the four sort of direction, let's call it a direction, four four character or tony jijur sort of four direction aspects, four aspects. 那在这个波若波罗蜜多的教法里面有一个非常殊胜的东西，就是解释这个存在呢，用四种分类或者四种面向来解释。It's so good. Zuk tongbao. Form is emptiness, as if the form is negated, but which is not true. 那色即是空，呃，这样讲好像是在否定这个色存在，可是事实上不是这样子。Because right after that, tongba ni zukso emptiness is form, so it's sort of not a negative, it's a not not a negation phrase. It is actually affirmative, affirm, sort of saying that emptiness is form. 那可是马上讲的这个色即是空，以后马上说空即是色，所以它并不是在否定，或者是这个呃，就是不是否定它是空的，而是它是一种肯定的句子，它是即是空即是色，是一个肯定的。
And then as if that is not enough, there's a two more. Form is not other than the emptiness, and emptiness is not other than the form. Uh, 还没讲完,除了这两者以外,接下来说色不异空,空不异色。Wow, this is so vast. So, so vast. Yet, it is frustratingly simple. Frustratingly. Frustrating. It's so frustrating. It's so simple. You know, Form is emptiness, emptiness is a form, just two lines. Out of this, form is emptiness, Nagarjuna and the company. Uh, emptiness is form, Asanga and the company. What does that mean? The first one influenced some Indians and a lot of Tibetans. The second one influenced a lot of Japanese, a lot of Chinese. See, each line has so many, many, what do you call it? It has created so many uh, approach. That就是这四句里面，光是前面两句，这个色即是空，就造就了龙树跟他那一伙人，那影响了非常非常多的印度的学者、西藏的学者，那空即是色，这句话影响了污浊的这一伙人。那也影响了非常非常多的，像日本啊、中国等等的这个佛教的学者。所以就是这两句话就创造了出来非常多的去趋近于真相的一个方法。Okay, now there's one question that you can ask: Why, why all this? Why is it so complicated? Why do we have to put it this way? 那可能诸位会有一个问题是说，那为什么要搞这么复杂？为什么呃会讲成这么复杂的这个事情？ Okay, let me try this one. <clears throat> Ordinary people, when we look at, when we interact with things, like a th look at things, hear things, taste things. We just don't have the capacity, you know, we don't have this ability to not fall into a certain extreme. We just one of the greatest masters in Tibet, he explains this so well. Something vivid, you see, and then you forget. Form is emptiness. You get, you get, you get, you so, you end up. What do you call it? Uh, solidifying the appearance, the vividness, the form. When we see a vivid thing, we immediately forget that form is empty. 反而我们把这个看见的这个鲜明的东西马上固化了，把它的外向固化了。At times in our life, you know, things become very negative. Things doesn't work anyway. Negation happens, and at that time we forget emptiness is form. I'm just trying to, you know, use these examples. 到了我们生命中某些比较不顺利的时候，我们会发生一种这个否定的一种心心态。那那个时候，我们就会忘记空即是色。I always use this example. Somehow it may it works. I think looking at a mirror. 那人们现在想要举这个例子，大概可以呃解释一个，就是说去我们在看着镜子。Okay, probably, probably, these are some of the very rare occasions we actually understand form is emptiness, emptiness is 
uh, from the fourth star. Every time when, when we look at the mirror, we under, we actually have a little bit of a this four aspect of emptiness. 那差不多在這種狀況底下,大概是很少有的機會,我們會略微了解到這個空設計師空空機師的這四句話的意思。When we look at the mirror, you see your face. 我們看到鏡子的時候,我們看到自己的臉在裡面。But we also know it's not really there, isn't it? 可是我們也知道說它那個並不是真正在那裡面。Otherwise, you need to have two shaving blades, two shaving cream, everything double you need. So we kind of know it's not really there. So sort of that form is emptiness, we know. So we know But we also cannot deny that that is not there. You, you cannot say, you know, every time you look, it's there and it's very usable. 可是我们又不能完全否定说那个东西不在,那个形象不在里头,因为每次你看它都在里头,而且很有用。If looking at that lip, you apply the lipstick on this lip, Works. It works. You don't have to do it on that. So you can see the face and you see the face. And you also know that I am also not different from that reflection. That reflection is also not different from me, kind of. No? 那個影像呢跟我不相異,不不是不同的,那我也跟那個形象呢不是不同的。This is the only rare occasions that we sort of have that kind of knowledge or understanding. 可是這是一個很稀有的這種狀態呢,我們似乎可以理解那四句的意思。But according to Avalokiteshvara and Shariputra Everything we experience is like that. 可是根據觀世在跟舍利子呢,我們所有經驗的一切都是像那樣子。That is difficult to chew. 這個很難下咽。Especially the when things matters. 特別是當這些事情跟我們很在乎的時候。And it doesn't even have to be so so big. 它不需要太大的事情。it can be something so small like somebody scratches your expensive Ferrari. You get mad. You don't think Ferrari is emptiness, emptiness is Ferrari, Ferrari. You don't think like that. So Or if somebody pinch your girlfriend's bottom, oh, you know. There is no none of these four aspects of emptiness. 或者是有人捏了你女朋友的屁股的時候,你絕對不會想起這四件事情。Why strong habit? 為什麼呢? Habit of thinking something truly exists. 為什麼呢? 因為我們有強大的習氣。一種相信所有事情都真實存在的習氣. Oh. <coughs> and um uh, yeah. So so basically whole 84000 Buddha, Buddha dharma is working is actually technique to work with a habit. If there is no habit no jobs for the Buddhas. So, Jibansan, Foto, Soyo, Bawan, Sichen, Farmen, those Isia Jisu, Yao Rang woman, Genzega woman, so the Xi Xing, or I truly woman the Xi Xing. Rugo Mio Xi Xing, Fojo Si Yel. No habit means no sentient beings. Mio Xi Chi, Jopio Sumio, Yo Ching Chong Sen. That means no ignorant beings. Yejosumio Wu Ming the Chong Sen. 
So no need path. No goal, no Buddha. Now, this is uh, sort of a in order to okay. Now to explain this a little bit more, I will uh, use some other commentaries. Uh, mm, okay. Remember why are we studying this? Not for you know happiness i mean the main goal is not for happiness not for good sleep not for any of that but for liberation i will remind you this again and again remember我们要来研究这个主题我们主要的目的不是要为了要快乐不是为了要睡得更好而是为了要解脱 and liberation for now we have decided liberation is having a complete picture or understanding or realization of the truth. 那目前我们对解脱的解释，就是对于真相或者实相有一个完全的这个清楚的呃了解，或者是证得完呃真相。But also, I have been telling you, language is vague. Truth cannot be expressed by this vague, limited language, etc., etc. So we have a problem here. We want to be liberated and we keep on hearing that you know some you know like you cannot speak about it so so what so what do we do 那可是呃人们现在又一直跟我们说语言是模糊的语言是有限制没有办法来描述这个真相所以我们有个问题就是我们很想要解脱可是我们又说解脱是不可说的，不能用语言来解释的，那怎么办呢？嗯， um, we have no choice but use language. 可是我们我们没有选择，我们必须用语言。Remember I said yesterday, if you ask Chandrakirti, to whom should we teach this? He never chose smart people. In, in his criteria, oh, you should teach emptiness to only smart people. He said, you should teach this to those who have goosebumps and tears in their eyes when the moment you hear Shunyata. There is a very important point here. 记得昨天那么些说这个当有人问岳称菩萨说你应该呃对什么样的对象来教导波瑞智慧的时候他说他并不是说要交给那些最有最聪明的那些人呃这不是在他的这个先觉条件里面反而他说要交给那些一听到空
or else you should really teach to a completely completely idiot devotional person this is what he said lumbo idiot right now you're when long chima junzi so ingai jiao zhege bo rei zhi hui gei shei ta shuo ni ingai zhen zhen de qu jiao gei na xie wan quan jiu shi yi ge ben dan ke shi you 具足最大的前进心的那种人。Difficult to teach to half smart people is very difficult. 呃，教给那种半聪明的那种人是最难的。Because half smart people have begin have developed a habit of liking things that are sensible. Liking. They have developed a habit to like that are sensible things that are sensible. Because those half-smart people, they develop a habit of liking things that are sensible things. They like things like proof. They like proof. In other words, the sort of the trust and the devotion does not exist. 换句话说，就是信任跟前进心呢不存在。So it's a bit like this. Okay, the completely idiot is the best to teach, Ashunyata, or very, very, very smart, really smart, very good. In between is the difficult. So it is like this. It is the best to teach the idiot. 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 It is the best to teach the Faculties. What do we mean by really, really smart? That, 既然我们谈到这个，谈到这个根器，那一般都说这个具足最有家的根器的弟子是什么意思呢 ？It's not really defined by someone who is very learned, read a lot of books, went through a lot of university education, a lot of you know like research. It could it could help a little bit, but maybe not. That's not the criteria. 就是上等根器的这个弟子呢，并不是说他学学了很多东西，看过很多书，受过很多教育，或者是做过很多研究，那些可能有点帮助，可是不是最重要的。How do you define a superior faculty? One very important faculty in Tibetan, we call it. Mijewi, chula, seba taba, seba patience, endurance, sort of resistance, immune, probably. Mijewi chula. Anyway, someone who can, who, who can, resilient also is good. Resilences, like someone who can, who is. Who can uh, accommodate anything, everything, things like shunyata, basically? Someone who can accommodate. 那什么叫做上上等根器的弟子呢？就是一个人呢，他非常欢喜，而且有那种非常呃大的承受度或容忍度，能够。在任何，在就是任何事情对他来讲都可以接受，任何事情包括像空性这种东西，他都很欢喜的可以接受。You know, in Tibetan Buddhism, there's a school called Nyingmapa. I don't know whether you know any of you. 据说在这个西藏的这个呃佛教传承里面有一个派别叫做宁玛派，不晓得诸位晓不晓得。And then they have a teaching called Mahasandhi Dzogchen. 
大圆满。And when they look for a vessel, a student who can listen to the Dzogchen teaching, the most, one of the most important fa faculty is Semba Kuyambo, meaning very, what do you call it, Kuyambo, how do you translate it? Very vast and open-minded. Even if somebody says, hey, you know, if somebody says, Kathmandu is completely upside down, hanging on the air. Oh, could be, why not? You know, that kind of. What's upside down? If somebody says the whole Kathmandu city is like upside oh. down, hanging on the air right now, not falling. So, yeah, probably, why not? By the way, does it not mean he's so gullible and idiot also? You know, it's a very thin line. There's a very thin line here. 所以，呃，这些大圆满的这个教法的老师们在找弟子呢，那最好的这个，呃，品品质呢，这个弟子的品质，就是人们先刚刚讲那个藏文，就是要有一种非常广大的这种开放的心胸。那即使人家跟他说，整个加德满都城全部都反过来掉在空中，他也会觉得说，哦，是吗？这还好吧？呃，可是。这这条线是很很难分的，就是在完全是笨蛋跟这个呃很容易受骗这个之间的这条线，其实有点明呃很难分别。But fast and open-minded is so difficult。那广大而开放的心胸是非常困难。We, you know, many of of us we love principles. We love principles. Values. Values. And you know, Chinese has Chinese have been cooked by a cook called Confucius for centuries. Chinese Chinese people have been cooked by a cook called Confucius for centuries. 煮了几世纪了 ，to develop, marinate with a certain values, and those values are really, really good, very, very good. I have to say, I am much, I'm a very big believer of this. It is because of that places like Taiwan, you hear more of a sound of a garbage collector than a police siren because there's not much crime. The moment you land in New York, the first thing you hear is a police siren. There's a crime somewhere. That this Chinese people have been cooked for centuries. Very many centuries. So it became such a thing. Now the values are mixed in there. And those people say it's not a crime. It's 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 a crime. 呃，救护车或警车的警笛还要多，因为那里基本上没有什么犯罪的行为。那反而你到纽约的话，你就是随时都听到警笛的声音。And then Abrahamic people, I mean the Europeans, Westerners, they they have so many values. They have so many. 那这个亚伯拉罕宗教或者是这些西方的文化，有很多很多其他的价值观。They have been made to feel guilty for. You know, being a sinful person. I understand. I don't know what you know. Some very dirty, whatever. You know. Recently, I mindlessly made a Moroccan girl suffer. Uh, that they have many such feelings. Uh, guilt. There are many such feelings. Guilt. 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 无心的让一位摩洛哥的女生受到痛苦。Because she she had this crush on this really nice Indian look uh, Indian boy. He's a really nice looking Indian boy. He had a crush on him, and he, she told me, "Oh, you know, I have so much infatuation." Then I give her an advice. You know, said maybe you should take a shower before you go. And then 
and she cried, and you know, all her Muslim background, the women are dirty, you know, filthy, you know, all that thing came out. I felt so bad. As a Moroccan person, because of a Hindu man, so Hindu man. 所以他就很兴奋，不知道怎么办。结果仁波切给他一个建议，说：“哎，你去见他之前，你先去冲个澡，冲个澡。”结果，结果引起他这个穆斯林女性被认为，这文化上认为说：“哦，女性是不干净的啊，什么所有这些东西。”然后，竟然仁波切叫他去冲个澡，表示这个引起他所有这些文化的这个想象。所以仁波切觉得很抱歉。And Indians, they have their share of hang-ups on, you know, principles and values. Yeah, Hindu people also have their own values and principles. Related to caste and all of that. I don't want to speak too much because there's a, a you know, Hindu fanatic sitting here, right? They have their own principles and values. But they don't want to talk too much because there's a Hindu fanatic sitting here, right? They have their own principles and values. And I have all my, you know, base in India. I have to still go back. Then, 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 all the bases are in India, so he has to go back. Basically, what I'm saying is, Guyangpo, to be vast and open-minded is really difficult. It's, it's really difficult. Basically, what I'm saying is, Guyangpo, to be vast and open-minded is really difficult. It's, it's really difficult. Basically, what I'm saying is, Guyangpo, Tibetans, they have so much principle, so much hang up, so much. The Xi'an people, they have so much discipline, so much discipline. Bhutanese, Tibetans, they are some of the most racist people on earth. I'm telling you. Xi'an people, Bhutan people, are the most racist people on earth. They think they are the only. Sound Dharma practitioners. Yes, they do that. I'm telling you. Don't tell the Tibetans I told you this, but <laughs> this is the case. The Xi'an people, Bhutan people, they all think they are the only practitioners. Don't tell the Tibetans what Rinpoche said. You know, most of the Tib lamas like myself, when we teach Westerners, we try to teach them how to be Tibetan first. Look, and it has been successful. Some of them look here. Many of these Xi'an Lama, just like Ramu Xie said, like himself, when he taught Western people about the Dharma, they first taught them how to become Xi'an people. But in fact, it was quite successful. You see, many people are very similar. Even Zhu Wei, there are many people who are very similar. How long did I not use Western people? Because I don't want to use Western people. 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 I don't want to use Western I was like, I was ten, right? These guys know ever since when I was eleven. So, two. These are my Vajra brothers and sisters, by the way. They're here, they're sitting here. I don't know what they are doing, but. 前座的任伯切说，这两位从他十一岁就认识任伯切了。那他们事实上都是任伯切的这个师师兄师姐。不晓得他们坐在这里干嘛。They do really remind me impermanence. 他们提醒人们些什么叫做无常。Like the gentleman sitting here, you know, I know him before he become monk. 那这位先生就是马修。人们些说他认识他，在他还没有出家之前，人们些就认识了。He was this very this elegant French. 他是一个非常优雅的法国人。So many ladies after him, I'm telling you. 一大堆女生在追在他后面。Anyway, and this nun, she just can't. 
get out of her catwalk even now. Cat catwalk. You know the catwalk, right? What do you what do you call it? Models, when the models walk. Oh. Yes. Now, this one, Bichoni, he is. What is this? Are you saying that she walks like a model? She still, she's, she just can't, she just can't. She has no way to walk like a model. She has no way to walk like a model. She has no way to walk like a model. She has no way to walk like a model. Basically, what I'm saying is the chances of them becoming a Tibetan in this life is zero. But they can easily get enlightenment. That is very possible. Sorry, I got distracted now. Yes, vastness, the open-minded. It's very important to understand the Shunyata. But anyway, again, Allah, sadly, we have to rely on, Lord, you know, uh, logic. We have to, I mean, we have to rely on language, and we have to rely on logic. 可是不幸的呢，我们最后还是要依赖语言，还是依赖，还是要依赖逻辑。I'm sorry, something mysteriously burst in my bag and everything is wet. Oh, I see. Okay. I got it. <laughs> um, logic. So what I'm going to do today, just briefly, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the logic, okay? The reason why I need to introduce you to the logic is because we are going to talk about the truth, which is presented by Avalokiteshvara from the fourth aspect. So in order to talk about the truth, we need to know, we need to know how we measure what is truth. You understand? So that's why the logic needs to come. Now, we need to talk about the logic. Why? Because 呃，我们主要是要谈这个观自在菩萨所讲的这个真相或者实相，啊，从这个四个面向谈的这个实相。那为了要谈这个实相呢，我们需要去呃讨论我们如何来度量这个实相。所以，因此我们需要用逻辑。I didn't pee, okay? Later. 那我先说他那个袋子有东西漏出来了，所以湿的，给他。Okay, so logic. So logic. <clears throat> logic. Just very briefly, I will present. Which means, um, okay, uh, to study logic, we need to talk about uh, uh, what do you call it? How we validate the the way we way we validate something. That, uh, we are very short, short to talk about this logic. Uh, we need to study logic. We need to understand how we can validate something. Validate it is true. So, do, for doing that, there is okay for valid cognition. To establish the valid cognition, we have these uh, two um, tools that we use, which is uh, one is direct, direct valid cognition, or yes, di direct valid cognition. 
and the other one is indirect, inferential, inferent, inference, inferential uh, logic or way of validating something. Uh the, the direct is well kind of simple, like this is watermelon. I don't need any inference. Inferential is more like someone must have cut it square this morning because you know watermelon doesn't come in this way, right? 那这个第二个是这种推演的这个逻辑呢，就是说我们在想说一定有人把它切成方块形的，因为西瓜并不是方的。It's a very very big study in Buddhism. 那这在佛教的哲学里面是一个很大的研究的主题。And also in India, there's actually a school called Nyaya Nyaya, which is very very good. 那在印度的这个哲学传统里面也有一个派别叫尼亚，抱歉，我这个不会翻译。And I think in present day in Europe, uh, like Oxford and uh, some of the many, uh, some of the European universities, they have a very good study of this Nyaya system. 那现在在欧洲，像这个呃牛津大学等等非常好的大学里面都有相当好的这个尼亚的研究。this is this is going to be kind of important to deliver Buddhism to other non-Indian people, basically. Uh,这些研究对于要把佛教呃传给非印度人呢是蛮重要的一个工具. I was recently talking to one of really, you know, I admire him so much. Ah,啊，最近我们去跟那个吉美亲戚，我们去在在聊天。and we were talking about how how to present Buddha Dharma beyond this, you know, feel good meditation, you know, all that sort of, you know, nice feeling, emotion. Really present Buddhism, you know, from the ground. And uh, he was saying, he was telling me that um, uh, we need to sort of um, present the sort of the Indian thinking of this uh, logic a little bit because he he was actually himself quoting Wollstone, Wollstone uh, one of another friend um, who said that probably in the West the logic is based on mathematics whereas in the East well especially in India logic is very much based on language that's an interesting for me uh, so in, uh, 基本亲者人们现在在对谈那他们在谈说怎么把这个佛教真正的呃从根呃介绍给西方的这个世界而不只是利用一些呃就是感觉良好啊禅定啊一些看起来很很舒适的一些这表面的方法来传达而是把这个
there are few categories such as wang bong sum which is like as i said you know this is a watermelon i can see it i can i can see with my you know non deceiving 那在这个直接觉知里面又分几类，第一个是像这个刚刚说西瓜，呃，人们就可以直接看到，所以它不它不欺瞒的，它是直接就看到，直接觉知。And it's not going to transform into an orange just as it was entering my mouth. So you understand what I'm saying? 而且它也不会就在人们就放嘴里的时候忽然变成橘子。Flu a meba, non deceiving. Flu me, flu a meba, non deceiving. Go korgi marisen. Non-deceiving. It's non-deceiving. There's no deception involved. This is watermelon. This 西瓜就是西瓜，没有那个之间没有牵涉到任何会欺骗你的东西，会会变的东西。And it is yet again reconfirmed, hundred percent. It is watermelon. 那到了嘴里又百分之百的确定，重新确认呢，这是西瓜。Okay, so in the direct cognition, there are few categories. 那直接觉知有分成几类 ？One, the other is rangrik unsum. This is really difficult. Anyway, if you ask a core hardline Buddhist, give me really, you know, the most non-deceiving direct cognition, they will say. Only the sublime being's perception is the direct cognition. So you need. Nanjur ngusum, nanjur bagi tonga sangje kikari is about that jangba de sekor. The only thing that is perceived by the sublime being is the direct cognition. Other than that, all others are sort of a fake, fake direct cognition. It's not really. If you ask one of these, this, this. 呃，非常死硬派的佛教徒、佛教学者说：“给一个例子，什么叫做真正的直接觉知的例子？”他们会说：“只有圣者的觉知才是直接的觉知，真正的直接的觉知，所有其他的觉知都是某种程度的假的，或者是错误的。” Okay, you may ask why. You know that was that was watermelon. You will ask, "Is it really? That is a grape." It's very debatable. This is worth debating. From many many aspects. From many many aspects. First of all, watermelon is a labeling from a certain group of people. Like the goats, they don't know. We we don't know whether they think it's a watermelon. So on and so forth. 那就是所谓的西瓜，事实上是一群人给他的标签。比如说，如果鬼看到西瓜，他们不晓得看到什么东西。And secondly, and most importantly, the mind, my mind, that thinks this is a watermelon, is very corruptible. 第二个呢，是我的心知道认为这个是西瓜的这个心。是很容易呃有错的或者被骗的。For instance, if I'm making a scheduling right now, where I will be next year, in which places, and all that. 举个例子来说，如果人们现现在在做他的明年的行程，说什么时候会到哪里的话。And I'm eating like this and scheduling. 一边吃一边做这个今明年的计划。My mind is so distracted here. I would not know what I'm eating also. 那因为他的心完全集中在这个行程上，所以他不会知道他在吃什么。And also, if I drink a lot of alcohol, let's say, I may not even know what I'm eating. 那假如说他喝了很多酒，那他也可能不知道他在吃什么。So my direct cognition is very, very. I mean, it is in the category of direct cognition, but it is very debatable. It's very shaky. 呃，虽然这个我们的心的直接觉知是所是属于直接觉知，不过它很值得辩论，它非常不稳定。So if you ask a core Buddhist, really strong Buddhist, they will say all the 
decisions made by scientists, for instance, like a big bang, is not in the category of direct cognition. So, if you ask a kind of strict Buddhist student, Buddhist teacher, all of them will think that all of these scientists' decisions, for example, like the big bang, are not in the category of direct cognition. The only direct cognition, valid direct cognition, is when you have the prajna, and that also a complete prajna. When 真正的唯一真正的这个正确的直接觉知，是当你具足了呃波蕊智慧的时候。But now, and remember, I was talking about Nyingma. Oh, they are really hardliners. 那记得人们现在说宁马派的人吗？他们是真正的这种坚定分子。They actually differentiate between you know everything is everything that is perceived by mind is not really direct cognition. That's what they would say. Far out, actually. 那他们会说一切被心所觉知的东西都是都不是直接觉知。You may wonder why are we talking this. 诸位可能会怀疑说，不知道为什么我们在谈这些。Actually, we are talking about one of the most important, fundamental thing. Talking about refuge. 那事实上，我们在谈一个最基本、最重要的东西，就是皈依。If you, if there's a rain like today, would you take a refuge under a umbrella made out of newspaper? You would not. Because that will cheat you. 如果像今天下这种大雨的话，你会不会拿一个报纸来当这个呃挡雨的这个皈依呢？不会，因为那个会欺骗你，那个报纸没什么用的。You will not confide your life, you know, really, you know, like problems with a thief or a you know a crook. You would rather get an advice from someone who is a sober, or a, you know, more. You understand? So, taking refuge. When we take refuge, it's the most important. So, when we take refuge, we have to take refuge to something that will not deceive you. So, prajna, shunyata is the only thing that is non-deceiving. Actually, only thing that will not deceive you. 那当我们这个有问题、有困惑的时候，我们需要皈依。我们不会去找一个小偷啊，或者一个骗子来皈依，而是会找一个清醒的、那种可信任的人去皈依。所以这个是非常重要的。<咳>谈到皈依这个这件事情，我们一定会找一个，<咳>对不起，不会欺骗我们的的对象去皈依。所以从这个角度来看，唯一不会欺骗。我们的只有般若智慧或者空性，它是唯一不欺骗、不欺瞒的一个皈依的对象。Okay, so many of you, in case, want to become Buddhist. It means you want to surrender, trust, and rely to a path. 诸位之中，如果呃有人想要变成佛教徒，你就是第一个要。找到一个对象去降服或者信任，去依赖的一个道路。Now we need to evaluate this, and the, how do we evaluate? We learn this logic a little bit. 那我们就必须要去评评估或者评断这个道路是不是不不欺瞒的。Okay. 那我们怎么评断呢？我们就需要依赖逻辑。Now, inferential logic, fairly, you should understand. It's it's basically based on a certain, you know, like okay, the classic example, Indian. Uh, if you see smoke, you must think that there is a fire. Of course, there are a lot of smoke-like phenomena too. You know, we have to give that. 那推论的逻辑，第二种那种推论的这个逻辑是。<咳>比较简单的，那一个典型的印度的
这个例子就是说，如果你看到有烟，就可以推论说大概有火。不过当然还有一些其他的现象，说有一些现象是像烟的现象，你必须要先了解。Where, so even inferential logic is based uh, based on a certain uh, what do you call it? Uh, and basically, it's not a direct cognition. That 推论的逻辑基本上呃就是不是直觉觉知的东西 Okay, so now we use these two logic to evaluate Prajna Paramita. 那所以现在我们利用这两种逻辑。来评估呃，波蕊智慧。This then leads us to now we this leads us to uh we need to we need to explore on truth and the, therefore we need to explore explore a little bit on uh to truth. 那这个就 that, that's what we are going to do now. 这就引引导我们下一个去呃。发掘这个什么叫真相？那当然要发掘真相，我们就会谈到两种真相，两种这个下来要谈的这个二谛。Oh, by the way, I need to tell you this. In the midst of this, I am not negating disciple with the superior faculties, with all the setting perfect, with every situation right. With a master who is qualified, none of this logic, analogy, examples necessary can can shift, awaken this student. 当然，在这里人们先要说一下，说虽然我们在谈这些所有这些东西，不过他完全不否定，如果有上根器的弟子。一切的因缘都具足，而且上师具具格，上师还可以，呃，就是所有刚刚我们谈这些都不需要，上师还是可以就直接在弟子心中造成一个呃转移，或者是让他觉醒，不需要所有我们现在在谈的这些东西。Having said that, don't. Deceive yourself with sensations. You know, people go, "Oh, yesterday I met so and so master, and I thought the universe had become me, and me become universe. All that sensations, feelings, as if they have understood the truth. There is a way to check whether you have understood the truth or not. I will tell you." 那可是虽然这么讲呢，也要奉劝诸位不要被这种所有的这种。这种情绪啊，或者是这种这种特别的感觉所蒙骗，呃，不要像有些人说哦，我昨天碰到一位上司，啊、呃，他对我我觉得非常棒，然后顿时这个我跟宇宙合而为一，呃，好像就我已经证得了实相一样的。你有没有证得实相是有办法检视的？人们现现在要告诉你。Those are just sensations, feelings. Those come and go. These are just a kind of feeling. They come and go, they come and go. 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 You know, they are not necessarily a realization. Uh, 必须知道这些都只是一种感觉而已，他们并不是真正的某种这个正量。So how do you find out whether this is not just a, a sensation, but it's actually a realization? Very simple. Skip lunch. Skip dinner. 那怎么证？怎么去检视这这些只是一种感觉，而不是真正的你的正德某种程度呢？很简单，就是不要吃中饭，不要吃晚饭。By not eating lunches and dinner for about a day or two, if you are still not annoyed, probably you have got some realization. <笑>所以你如果可以
一两天都不吃中饭，不吃晚饭，那你还是没有觉得怎么样不对，那说不定你有某种正量。Until then, you are still a pathetic, samsaric being who is a victim of bombardment of habitual patterns. So, you know, behave yourself. 那除非到了这个程度，否则你还只是一个可怜的轮回众生，完全被你的习气所控制。所以在这之前呢，诸位还是自我检点一点吧。Okay, we take a break now. 好，我们先休息一下。Fifteen, twenty minutes, please. 好，这个二二十分钟回来。